Hi everybody and welcome to today's Elevate Tours by Diesel Ducey Hotel Tour on the 11 Mini on the built-in mic. We are at the Econo Lodge in Arlington, Virginia. And we're gonna go inside and take a look around. Here we go. This lobby is really cool, y'all. Over to the right is the front desk. I love the lobby, this is so cool. Our room is downstairs. So we're gonna go check out our room. First thing you see when you come down here, this is actually the breakfast area as well. It's really nice and cozy. And over here you have a couple vending machines which sadly are broken. But let's go check out our room. We are in room 109. Laundry room. Those people are loud. Here's our room. All right, Diesel Lucy showed up and the people across the hall are apparently having a party. RFID keys. So here we go. This hotel has an interior corridor or no elevator. And this room right here is pretty much a time machine as you're gonna see. It captures the old with the new. Let's look out in the hallway. We'll start off to our right as you come in the door. We'll go ahead and get the bathroom out of the way and show that. Looks very clean. You have, hey there, uh, older style light fixture above the sink for shaving. This dates the hotel, heat lamp. There's your sink. And obviously we have an older toilet here. I believe this is a, I'm not sure. It might be a color, I'm not sure. It looks pretty clean. Seems to flush good. And this bathtub, obviously it's been refinished at some point have a uh, cheaper, this is a really cheap shower head. We'll see how it does here. Shower pressure's okay. It's not bad, but it's not the best I've seen. So now let's go check out the room. This is actually kind of like a suite. You have, it's basically the size of two, the width of two hotel rooms. And over to our left, what do we have in here, Zach? The kitchen with the really old, old fridge. And Let, I don't know. If let's that's, see if this works. Gonna yeah, we're going to see if these work. Uh, I'm going to touch it. Uh, I feel, oh, this is going to help my Raynaud's. Uh, Feels so like it's getting work. warm. That one's warm. That one's warm. Now, let's um, see if the fan works. Fan works. Low. It's got two speeds. Light. All right, I'll turn these burners off because, yeah, you can tell they haven't been used in a while. And in here, look at. Oh God, I see fire. You have silverware. It's just stuff burning off the burner. You have an actual rather large fridge, oh, old fridge with a freezer that they actually have defrosted. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at the sink. Sink with, check this out. It's got a working garbage disposal. So this is definitely a place you could extend its stay because they give you your dishes, silverware. Oh, you have a microwave and you have a pot to cook with. So this room is pretty well stocked. And in here, 
you have a rather standard size hotel closet. And behind me is something I have never seen in a hotel room that I've stayed at. This looks like a closet, but Zach, go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna show you exactly what this is. Door number one. It is, is a Murphy bed. There is actually a Murphy bed. Now, if you'll hold my phone, Zach, and stand over here. Well, I don't think it'll fit. You're trust gonna, me, you're hold my phone. It. We're gonna move the table real quick. Oh, God, Lord. And the thing right there. You are gonna get to see, I've always wanted um, to do these. I've seen this in the movie, but this is an actual Murphy bed. You pull here and the Oh down. my God. Look at this. It's oh. That Murphy, is, this is a Murphy bed, and it's actually I've, made up. I've never seen a Murphy bed in my life. So there is a Murphy bed in this hotel room. <laughs> and now the question, let's see if the Murphy bed is clean. Well, I'm holding the phone. I mean, it First look, layer, it good. looks clean. Let me see the phone. Has a Murphy bed ever been used? All right, there'll be a cut there. The Murphy bed is clean. There's no hair or anything under here. I wonder if it's ever been used. So it's clean. All right now here, I'm gonna have you stand right, stand right here, Zach. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm, right here, I'm gonna fold the Murphy bed up. I just put the whole thing in the frame. You got it? Perfect. All right, now that the Murphy bed did pass my cleanliness test, we're gonna go ahead and put it back and fold it up. I've always wanted to do this because I've seen these in the movies. This hotel actually has a Murphy bed. Oh, there it goes. Hold something in the wall like that. Wow. I think this is pretty cool. It is. This now, is pretty cool. Now fix our dining room. Now, Zach. To, to move the dining room table back. All right, we got the table moved somewhat back, but when I said this is a time capsule, look at these two PTAC units. We'll take a look at this one first over here. This is an old General Electric unit, a zone line. I mean, look at this. Look at that control panel. This is definitely original if not definitely at some point somewhat original to the building. But now I think we got this side of the room covered, don't we? So now we'll go into the main room. This is the kitchen. In the main room, you have a nice king, is that a king bed? Yeah, king size bed with two nightstands, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Over there is a uh, table and uh, some furniture, which I have my laptop on. And here is a Davenport with a coffee table. And this is cool. Is there a hide a bed under here? Yep, you could sleep. Another bed? You could sleep in theory six people in this room. And speaking of time capsule, this PTAC unit right here is a newer PTAC unit. And it is, it's a GE as well. Whoops, that's a newer unit right there. You have a sharp flat screen TV on the wall. And obviously this room is meant for extended staying because it's got the full kitchen, you got plenty of drawer space. That's where a fridge would go in a standard room. And there is my dot case hard drive enclosure, which is really cool. And there's Zach is pointing out artwork of all the lights. But there is the king sized bed. Let me see, lay on the bed and tell me how comfortable it is. Well, first off, this is not even real. Like this is just- Decorative, that's <laughs> called decorative. Right. I gotta tell you, this bed does not feel good. It feels like something you would go to like your grandparents' house and lay on in the attic. That's the only place you can see. That's what it feels like. So. Now we didn't pay any money, actual money for this room. This was choice points, but what would the cost have been without choice points? I do not know. It was, how, how many choice points was this? 30,000. 30,000 choice points. So every was, room was 
was the same number. Of was that thirty thousand for one night or the whole stay? I think it was 15,000 points a night. That's more reasonable, 15,000 choice points a night. But now, let's see if the bed's clean. All right, under the first layer is clean. Now here's the moment of truth. When I pull this up, we're gonna see if it's clean. Under this layer, there's one, wait, I don't know if I got one hair so far. One, that's acceptable. It's not, great but it's acceptable and now let's see what's under here brown mat oh this is a you can tell a serta this is look how like it's all torn like this is clearly an old older mattress but clean so there was only one hair this is not amazing but it passes my cleanliness test i will tolerate one or two hairs under the mattress but the Murphy bed passed, I don't so. Alright, right, in conclusion, what do you think about this room that we're staying in right now? It's definitely got some very unique character. I mean, I like it. I like it too. And I guess. Thank you for watching today's Elevate Tours by Diesel Ducey Hotel Tour. A huge thank you to all of my patrons for your support of Elevate Tours. The video's over, but it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more, and you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.